it's hard for me to see him now the way he is now because he before he was a strong man and even though they didn't get along sometimes we always have the family dinner and things like that elizabeth park was number one place that we went to because he always loved the roses but we always we always did something like a family. We ate like a family. We went together to church like a family every Sunday. Yeah, I called Abuela and I asked her if I can go with her and she said, yeah. And so I moved in. And they took me in with no problems. I would want him to know that I promise him that I will forever take everything that he has taught me and use that in life. Um, that I love him and thank you for everything that he did for me and put up with me. And one thing is that thank you so much for helping me raise my son. Because if it wasn't for my parents, I don't know what I would have done, you know? They took me in, they let me stay as long as I could, and even afterwards they helped me take care of him and, you know, make sure that Francisco had like that father figure, you know? And I'm really grateful for that. And I never get never got tired of us, you know. We used to jump all over the place. We're, we're, kids that were because you know how kids are. Imagine 13 kids doing that. Gracias, abuelo, por todo. Te quiero mucho. Y pues, papá Dios está contigo. Maybe God is using me as part of him being able to speak, to forgive each other, to love each other, to be there for each other. Things within the family always happens, but we need to stick together and be strong. And one thing he always said, we don't judge anyone. He always said that we don't judge anyone. And if you can, don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it and criticize anyone. Just pray for that person. He used to say that all the time. Pray for that person. The experience I'm getting from this, I'm okay with everything. I'm ready to let go. I have some of some guilt inside of me, but um, a lot of it I let out last night, late last night. I felt so many ways that I, um, I let him down with the house. He lived next to me, that was his house. He didn't want to move out of there. He was upset with me, with my personal life that was going on at that time, it was bad. And it bothered me all those years. And when I saw him getting bad the minute that he moved to that new place, I saw the changes. I blamed myself for all this time. <laughs>